In this video, we'll take a look at the measures of central tendency, that is the mean, median, and mode. Now the measures of central tendency, the mode is defined as the most frequently occurring score or value. The median is the middle score, and the mean is the arithmetic average. We'll take a look at each of these in turn with an example. Let's start with the mode. Mode, once again, is the most frequently occurring score. So if we had the following example, where we had one one, three twos, two threes, and one four, the score that occurs the most frequently is a two. There are three twos there. So our mode would be equal to two. Another example with the mode, if we had the following values, one, two, two, three, three, four. Notice here there's two values that each occur twice. Two occurs twice, and three occurs twice. So here we have two modes, which usually is just referred to as being bimodal. And we list the two modes. The modes are two and three. In this last example with the mode, in this uh, data set, we have one, one, and then we have two of each of the following, twos, threes, and fours. Since there's three values that each occur twice, which is the most often, we would say here, we don't say trimodal or anything like that. We just say multimodal. So usually when you have three or more modes, you'll just use the term multimodal. And the modes here are two, three, and four. Next, we'll look at the median. So the median, once again, is the middle value. So if we have the following values, one, two, three, four, and five, the middle value here, if we count in, is just the center one here, which is a value of three. So therefore, in this example, the median is equal to three. As a second example, suppose we have the values one, two, three, four, five, six. Now to find the middle value here, if you count inward, you should see that there's two values in the middle. We have a three and a four. So when there are two middle values, we want to find the average of those two middle values or scores. So here we would take three plus four, divide that by two, and that gives us 3.5. So in this case, the median is equal to 3.5. And the rule is as follows. For the two examples we just looked at, if we have an odd number of values, that's what N stands for, number of values. So if we have an odd number of values, then the median is just the middle score or value. So when we had five values in that first example, we just found the middle value, which was three. When we have an even number of values, the median is equal to the average of the two middle scores. So here we saw that the median was equal to the average of three and four, or 3.5. Now it's very important to note that prior to calculating the median, you want to be sure that the numbers are ordered from smallest to largest. If they are not ordered, then what you do not want to do is pick the middle number of a set of unordered numbers because most likely you'll get the wrong value for the median. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example to see what I mean here. So if we had the values 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 6, and we just said, oh, there's six values here. Here's the two middle values, one and three. I'll take the average of those two values, which would give me a two. And I'd say the median was two. Well, I would be wrong in this case, because the first thing we want to do is order these values. So notice I have two ones, or I have one, one, two, three, three, six. So you see that down here where they're reordered. And now I see the two middle values are two and three. So taking the average of those two, we would have a median of 2.5. So always make sure you order the values from lowest to highest. Or on a technical note, you could order them from highest to lowest. That would be fine as well. But they need to be in order. Okay, finally we'll take a look at the mean. And the mean is equal to the arithmetic average. And you can see a formula here on your screen. This says mu is equal to sum of x over n, where mu is just the population mean. Sum of x just tells us mathematically to take the sum of the variable x, or in other words, add all the values of x together. And n is just the total number of values. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. Here we have the following example where x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the mean, once again, says to take the sum of x over n. So the first thing we want to do is just simply add up these values. So we see that here, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And then we divide by n, which once again is just the total number of values. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So there's 5 down here. So when we add these values here, we get 15 over 5, or 3. So in this example, the mean is equal to 3. Okay, that's it for the measures of central tendency. Thanks for watching.